Hello Karnataka CET qualifiers and the rank holders. My name is Anshuman and today we are going to look into very very important thing which is after you get rank the counseling happens and between counseling and rank there is something called choice filling. Choice filling is basically what rank would you want or what is the priority list of your college and your branch filling this entire thing is basically choice filling but there is a way many times it happens that a child who has not got a great rank fills the choices smartly and gets what the child wants and many times when the child has got a great rank but choice filling was something which the child was unable to do smartly and that's where they lose out. So I've made a process about choice filling and we are going to see what is that process and before that please get a pen like I always said get a copy don't just believe on the screenshot write it down whatever you are learning from this video let's go ahead so the first thing that you do in while preparing for the choice filling is you find out what is your rank of course you know that but I'm telling you a process on a piece of paper write that rank Say, I'm writing a rank, right? I'm just writing a rank which is 1, 7, 8, 9. This is the rank, general merit rank, which I have written here. What's the next step? Next step is, you need to write down which course do you want to study and where. So, please don't think that any college, any branch, I just need to go into engineering and then I will see what happens after four years. No, that's not the right strategy. Whatever you do today is going to affect for the next 25, 30 years of your life. Whatever branch you are taking today, just don't think how, how uh, <coughs> well known that branch is today. Also think about, will that branch sustain after 20, 25 years? That should be the right thing. So what you do is you write down on a piece of paper. I'm going old school, but believe me, it's important. You write down which course do you want and which college do you want? I mean, something like this. So that rank which I had written, that is irrespective. What I want is I say, okay, I have, I have taken four colleges, RV, BMS, MSRIT and PES. These are all the colleges, right? And then I've written the, uh, written the entire branches which I want to study. I've said CSC, CSC Data Science, AIML, Electronics, Electrical, IoT, Blockchain, CSC Business System. There could be a long list because all these branches would be in all probability in all of these colleges. All these branches might be in all of these colleges. So I have list of colleges and I have list of branches which I would want to study and pursue my studies further. Second point. Third point, you need to understand what is the seat intake in these courses and colleges. How would it use, how would it be useful? Uh, I, I'll tell you later, but it's very important for you to know the seat intake and in these courses and colleges, which we also call seat matrix. Now the seat matrix would look something like this. Now this seat matrix would look something like this. And it is available on KEA website. And we have put a link uh, in the comment section. You can directly download this PDF. So in the seat matrix, I have searched for RV College. And you would see there are different kind of categories and different kinds of different number of seats. And I've made a video specifically on seat matrix. The link of that video is given below. Please make sure that you see that video and understand. So what I'm getting here is, what were those uh, branches? It was computer science, engineering, cyber security, electrical and electronics. So I see that there are, uh, say, uh, sorry, total 120 seats, 285 seats. And then I see this is the seat for which I'm going to go for counseling. Now there are, since it is a KCT counseling, so Comet K management doesn't apply to me here. This is something which is going to apply to me. Okay, keep it ready. How you're going to use, I'm going to tell you in a moment. Now, this was next step. Next step is you need to find out what is the cutoff for this course in that college. So what you have done is first you have on a piece of paper written your rank. 
correct second what you did you made a matrix these are the colleges and within these colleges these are the branches which i am going to prefer third what you did was you basically went ahead and found out how many number of seats are there in which college and branches of my choice is a huge you know uh, document that you would find but just search down for your college take a print out take a screenshot of that and keep that ready the next thing is for that branch for that particular branch in last year what was the cutoff it's very simple it is available on kea website so category wise cutoff is available on kea website like uh, general merit uh, general merit cut off different kind of categories ka cut off is available it's very easy. I, I i keep on getting a lot of comments asking you sir my rank is this which college can i get baba you can see it by yourself one is through kea one another the link is given for this one another is a website that link is also given there in which you would have very very simple thing round 1 round 2 round 3 all the cutoffs that have been mentioned so round you, so this is showing about round 3 you click on this tab it will show you round 1 this tab round 2 this tab round 3 the name and the uh, details of that website is given in the link now you have got this information that which branch which what is the actual cutoff that would give you a little bit idea if you compare that with your current rank once you do all this thing once you do all this thing you need to see that if my branch is say cs and uh, i write branch is cs college is say xyz and 2023 2023 my uh, the cut off for this was say uh, say 1500 this example now the rank which i wrote was 1789 now see is there a lot of difference between these two uh, branches uh, these, these two ranks sorry barely 10 10 15 20% 20%. so in case in case there is a difference of 10 15 or 20% in the rank which is last year to this year ensure and 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 you like that branch and college make sure that is in one of the options it's in one of those options so what you do is you you start writing something you write some uh, you write something in the order of preference like say i would say college then i would say uh, branch then i would say sorry round 1 round 2 round 3 so college we talk about say is x y z branch let us say c s e last year round 1 was say 1000 round 2 was 1200 round 3 was 1500 make an excel or put it on a notebook just like this so this is one this is two i said college a b c there also i'm trying to find csc there i find the rank was 1200 say 1400 say 1700 1700 17 17, 1700 like this make the entire list first forget about the priority just make the list wherein the college the branch and the round 1 round 2 round 3 cut off are very clearly mentioned मेक दैट लिस्ट वे वुड यू गेट दीज कट ऑफ कॉमेंट में जाने का उधर पे क्लिक करने का ओके लेट्स गो अहेड देन वॉट डू यू डू देन यू एक्चुअली प्रायोरिटाइज हेयर कम्स द इंटायर यू नो द गेम आई वुड से द स्मार्टनेस आई वुड से हाउ डू यू डू इट सो आई हेव टेकन दिस बेसिकली फॉर दिस रैंक यू रिमेंबर दिस रैंक वन सेवन एट नाइन सो वॉट डू आई डू हेयर इज आई से rv college that's my dream college cs branch that's my dream branch round 1 242 300 and 360 am i going to get this college for sure no as per the last year's cut off no but this is something which i aspire to so i'm going to put that as top priority then similarly rv 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 so now this particular child is preferring the college rv 
up to the branch ECE. Now just have a closer look here. Round 1 ECE is 761, round 2 is 969, round 3 is 1336. So there is a possibility that this particular rank could get could get under round 3. So I have this child is taken RV as the preference. Then you take as BMS, CS rank. Now here you see something which is very very smartly done here. In BMS, despite it is CS, but this child wants RV ECE as the priority before BMS. Okay. Now, similarly, BMS, CS data science, you see these cutoffs. So, this child very smartly says, in round 3, I am pretty sure of getting CS in round 3. CS in round 3, this child can get because the rank is 1789. 2153 so it has placed it at a lower priority than you know that than this rv or a, a, other branches now you see then next msrid here again from here you would see all those colleges in which this child can get in round 3 are being put here so, rv msrit bms and then these are the branches now how would counseling start now you have made it. Now imagine you have made this. What would happen in round one? In round one, they are going to just start from here. Let me just here, remove this. So they are going to start round one. So if the rank is 1789, will this child get this particular college in round one? No. Will this child get this college? No, 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 no. No, but in 10th number, this child will get RV, the favorite college is RV, electronics and telecom, this child would be able to get that if the cutoffs remain the same. Now, the next what happens is, when you go to round 2, of course, this child, will it, will this child take 2397 as, as the uh, final? Answer no, because in round three, you see these ranks is are still available. BMS, CS, Data Science, and MSRIT, CS is still available for round three. So this child will say, ki, "Okay, I have got this as my first round." They will not accept. The child will not accept because he has got better branches at the ranks which she or he can get as priority, which is higher than this. So now what would happen? All these would be striked off for the consideration of this child in round 2. Now see, ma majorly somebody would have preferred this, these two branches. So fair enough, you would have got these two branches also in round 1. But the choice which was taken was that of the college. That's why you have that grid of college and branch. Choice that was taken was that of this college. Now this would go. What are the you know branches and uh, that that would be available for the next round? These branches would be available for the next round. Now what you can do is for the next round you can basically now shift these branches. Why would you shift these branches? The reason is remember I asked you to find out the seat matrix. After every round, there would be a list published. How many seats of which college and which branch are left? Here you would smartly again see that for this RV, AI and ML, lot of seats are left. And I really want this AI and ML. I might change the sequence of these top 10 colleges. So in next round, say for example, the child gets this, 1027, maybe, BMS pair. Will the child be okay? The, the child may be, may not be, because right now in round 3, I have 1336, 1339 in RVCS and cyber security. So there is a possibility that this rank may drop further. So now again, what would happen? 
a seat matrix would be shared. Again, you will see how many seats are left, and then you are going to reorder. What uh, what would you reorder? Let me use blue. What would you reorder? So this has been uh, uh, BMS ho gaya. Now these RV branches is what you are going to reorder, right? So getting to know the seat matrix in the beginning very important. Writing down what colleges this needs to given to be given a lot of thought. Writing out what all colleges, what all branches, then making that grid, making all the places where you have got a difference of 15 to 20 percent of lower rank than you, listing down all the colleges, and then basically making a priority list smartly, making a priority list smartly, and after every round, checking that priority list is definitely going to help you to find out your. A required college and your preferred branch. Now, if you have any questions regarding how to make this, how to do this, I'll be also giving the details. You know, this this format of Excel would be uh, uh, given in the comment section. If you have any questions, you have any thoughts, please make sure you put that in the comments. Now, after this, there would be another video which would we'll be talking about after every round of counseling that happens. We are going to give another video which is going to talk about what has been the cutoff for each round and what can you expect in these top five colleges all right so with this guys i'll be signing off make sure that if you've liked the video you subscribe it and make sure all your friends who really need to know what choice filling is please forward this video to them all right so thank you very much have a great great choice filling thank you thank you